Thank you to all my Patreons. Um, your support helps fund this channel and helps the creation of new and exciting content. If you want to see your name here in future videos, the link to Patreon is in the description box below. Hi, it's me, John of Jade Rich Millinery, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, I've been MIA for the last two weeks. Thank you very much for bearing with me. It was my birthday, and I kind of just thought I'd take a couple of weeks off um, just to kind of refresh, recharge, and kind of get but you know take a break because yeah putting out content every week it kind of is a little taxing on the creativity so i've taken a break i'm a little bit refreshed a little bit recharged i have a new schedule um for uploads this from going on from the end of this month so um a little change that is live streams will be monthly as opposed to weekly um but I'll, I'll, I'll figure that one out but there will still be content um on here every week plus a live stream plus an instagram live so check out my socials for the updates for that but even though we are in october i have the september birthstone millinery so um september is sapphire and you might be wondering who's got a hat on yes so this is the piece made for september birthstone um, and you know, I thought I'd wear it on the back of my because it's the block I have is a 22 and a half inch, which is standard ladies. My head is not a 22, it's more like a 26, um, or maybe 25. I can't quite remember, uh, but it's big. So, this month for September, I have this beautiful, um, sapphire inspired piece and because it's september because it's my birthday i have embroidered um the constellation of libra because i am a libra uh into this so we've got some metallic embroidery thread uh some sapphire colored swarovski crystals and then along the brim uh we have some sapphire flatbacks and some um crystal ab flatbacks as well and then on the edge i put a close-up this is actually like i think it's a blanket stitch just around the edge with the same metallic as this so uh yeah if you want to see how i made this let's get started okay so to start this wonderful sapphire inspired hat i am starting out with this wool felt from be unique millinery this felt cape line is a 100% merino wool felt in the colour royal blue and is priced at $22. If you are wanting, though, to make a larger crown, because um, I've used the crown I've used is not a very big one, um, and you wanted the same felt for the brim, I would strongly suggest you buy two and use one solely for the crown and one solely for the brim. The block I'm using is the MBB from Guy Moss Brown and is listed in the description box below. As you can see here, I initially started blocking the felt with pins, but I've still got to get to grips with this. So after a struggle, I took them out and I steamed the hell out of the wool and stretched over the block. And what I did is I used some very taut fabric to hold it into place. Now I don't really know the name of this fabric, but it's the bottom, it's what you would find on cuffs and at the bottom of like varsity jackets. It's got a bit of a stretch in it and it will just help that hold it into place. I had stiffened this with millinery stiffener. So please, when you are using this, use in a ventilated space. This was the first time I'd used it on felt, which was perfectly fine and it worked really well, but it did need some decent brushing into the felt. And I didn't have any decent ventilation, so it gave me a huge headache, which was my fault, not the stiffener. I am looking into finding a respirator to use with this for future work, so I will let you know when I get that. I also added stiffener to the brim and I left both the crown and the brim to dry. Once dry, I removed the crown from the block and put this aside. I covered my workspace with calico and using the block as a guide, steamed the brim flat, ensuring I had enough felt against the block to be able to sew the crown into the brim. 
obviously as you can see here i'm using the calico so i don't put the iron directly onto the wall this was once again left fully to dry and cool down once it was dry i trimmed the crown down to shape first of all noting the smallest width of the brim and using this as my brim width the edge of the crown was tucked into itself and sewn into place in hindsight i should have trimmed this away and then wired that raw edge as the seam allowance created extra bulk which distorted the shape and added another layer of felt to sew through i then pinned the crown to the brim and sewed that together the inside of the crown was too small for the brim due to the extra padding from the felt seam allowance so next time i know better however if you are using a thinner felt hood such as the one in my yellow felt hat i made maybe about a year ago then you can use this technique so we have the whole hat now we're going to add the decoration and embellishment so Using a blanket stitch and some metallic embroidery thread, I encased the raw edge of the brim in a blanket stitch. I haven't used embroidery thread much, but I did know enough to only use three of the strands, not the six that it comes with, which also means your threads last twice as long. On a side note, embroidery, bead embroidery is something I'm kind of getting into. So let me know if you'd like to see a video where I try it for the first time or try it properly or follow a tutorial or something like that. Um, let me know. On the tip of the crown, I used a tailor's chalk to lay out the Libra constellation and using the metallic embroidery thread, I laid down the lines, leaving a small gap where the points are. These then gaps and points were filled in with a sapphire Swarovski crystal as shown. On the top of the brim, I added sapphire flatbacks as well as some crystal AB flatbacks. Both of these are from Swarovski as well. And I used the size SS16, which are four millimeter wide. Then finally, to finish, I added a grow grain ribbon to the inside and a decorative ribbon to the outside of the hat. As this is a felt hat, you could also had, add a lining into the piece, which I will do before I put this onto my website for sale. Yeah, so there you go. Um, one beautiful hat made for this, well, September. Uh, October, let me put, uh, put him on a head because it's gonna fall off. Um, October is tourmaline, pink tourmaline. So I am, I've got that in progress. So that will come up next week. I have a Halloween one coming up soon. And then we're gonna go back to the pattern where the vintage pattern with modern material. And I have Ooh, this gorgeous neon fabric. So uh, look out for that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe and share this video. It all helps the algorithm and it just helps push my video to more people. Remember my Patreon is listed in the description box below as well as all the items that are used here where I can find them. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.